Hi everyone, it's Matt and today I'd like to talk about a pretty handy Arduino input device. An unpad like this can be ideal uh, for give commands or codes to your Arduino project and it will cost you only a few euro. Problem is a 16 keys unpad like this will require 8 digital pin in order to work. For instance, an Arduino Uno has only 11 of them to start with, so you're gonna end up using uh, almost all of them just for your uh, input device, which is not cool. So what if, instead of uh, 8 digital pins, we could use just 0 digital pin? Well, actually we're gonna end up using uh, one pin, but an analog one, and nobody uses them anyway. So let's get started. Well, the theory is actually pretty straightforward. Uh, we can sketch uh, the numpad uh, like a group of uh, switches arranged uh, in this manner in four rows and four columns. Pressing each one of these buttons will short two of, uh, two of these lines. First off, we have to identify which line is what. So, four are the rows and uh, four are the columns. Uh, we can use a tester to find out uh, which one is what. Spoiler alert, the first uh, four ones are the rows, while the last four ones are the columns. So, for instance, if I press uh, the one button, I am shorting the first line and the fifth one. So we can check this out. Let's turn on the tester and check out the first and the fifth line. If I press the one button, the resistance drops to zero. Again, uh, the B button shorts the second line, the second row, and the eighth line. Let's check this out, the second with the eighth, which is the last one should be the B button. Alright. While well, obviously the other buttons do nothing. While well, the B shorts the second the second line with the eighth one. So now we can uh, label all the buttons and uh, all uh, the lines in our internal wiring uh, circuit. Now, the trick for using an analog uh, read to detect to a detect, uh, pressed button is wrap up a circuit uh, that will read a different uh, uh, resistance depending on which uh, button we'll press. So, let's put uh, a resistor uh, on each line plus a 1k resistor to the ground. Then we connect all the four columns in parallel to the 5 volts and then all the remaining four rows to the ground through the 1k resistor. The value of these resistances is not very important, but uh, more of that in a second. So here we have uh, the equivalent circuit. It's really simple. R1 is the 1K resistor we've put uh, on the ground line, while R2 varies depending on which uh, button we press. Using this simple equation, and this in particular, we can uh, calculate which value of uh, V2 we are going to read 
with uh, each different button. So for each button we are going to read here with an analog pin a different uh, voltage. These uh, are just uh, some uh, Ohm's uh, first law applied to our very simple circuit. Now uh, you can do the math yourself using uh, the previous formula or you can uh, use uh, a program a software like this, uh, iCircuit, this one is called, but there are other, it, this is just a circuit simulator and it will allow me to just read in this uh, DC meter uh, the voltage in this uh, node here. So for instance if I press, uh, press the button A I can see the current flowing through the switch and the voltage there is 4.167 volts so I can uh, check out all the buttons and see the voltage that I get so for instance with the button 1 I get 4 volts 4000 millivolts, the buttons 2 I get 3.704 and so on. So here I have uh, my voltages for each button. Now, uh, these are the voltages I'd get with 4 volts and these resistances. When I'll uh, look up uh, the circuit, things changed a little bit. For instance, uh, the voltage won't be 4 volts, but a little less in my case, 4.92 and uh, the resistance to were different from the their nominal values for instance uh, instead of uh, 100 ohms uh, i get uh, 97.6 ohms there is slightly variation but uh, big enough especially the one on the on the on the positive line there are slight variation but uh, all combined uh, are gonna mess with the uh, with the numbers so the voltage with which uh, I would read on Arduino won't be this one so in order to fix that I'm gonna use a, a simple uh, sketch to read the vol the actual voltage on the Arduino instead of using these uh, values here no, this is volts not millivolts anyway instead of these values here then uh, why the hell did I bother doing this chart well I did this chart because it is it is mandatory that uh, these voltages are far away from each other they must be distinct or, 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 or otherwise I won't be able to distinguish uh, two buttons because they if the two buttons uh, has the same resistance or the same voltage I won't be able to understand which one I really press so this, these uh, values are not the one I'm gonna, I'm gonna read on the Arduino but it is important to do this chart uh, to check out if these voltages are there aren't any double one and if there, if there are if there are any double one, I just need to change the values of the resistance in order to make each one of the of these unique. So we just connect the, the negative line to the ground, obviously, the positive to the five volts, and the node before the one K resistor to the analog pin A0, and that's it for the wiring. First off, we're gonna use this uh, this sketch on the right uh, in order to read the voltage of each uh, of each button. 
So this is just an analog uh, register serial from the, the example files. We are gonna just read to this line the analog, uh, the sensor value in the E0 and then calculate the voltage by multiplying for 5000 divided by 1023 because uh, the Arduino analog read uh, can uh, read from 0 to 1, uh, 1023 step. At maximum we can read 5 volts. So with this simple proportion I can read how many millivolts I'm reading in, uh, in the node. So let's plug in the Arduino. So let's plug in the Arduino and we just uh, upload the sketch here on the right. To the correct serial port. And now we can open the serial monitor. Here is our reading. So for instance if I press the button 1 I get this value. button 2, button 3, and so, so on and so forth. As you can see, the, the reading is not constant, there are slight variations. I will take care of that with uh, some tolerance in uh, the other sketch, but first and first I'm gonna need to read these values. So for instance, uh, the button 1 give 3196 more or less 96 or 92 I'm gonna go with 96 I'm gonna write this down on the sketch on the left no, I don't remember what I said 3196 all right what well, button 2 gonna give 3256 this is 3 and so on now as you can see uh, these values uh, are very different from the one we've calculated before but uh, no harm done, I'm gonna just use these. I'm gonna put uh, a tolerance here of uh, 0.05 or 0.5%. This would be enough to give me some, uh, some room. For instance, button 1 it was 96 or 92 sometimes. So with this tolerance I'm gonna cover uh, both of that uh, both of the values just to be safe. This sketch on the left is the sketch, uh, the one, uh, the interesting one. I'm just uh, reading here in the loop for things the voltage like I did uh, in the analog uh, read serial right here. And then I've just uh, put a bunch of fifths. And so I can read which button I press. So let's upload this. Open the serial monitor. And try it out. For instance, button 1, button 2, 3, 5, 6, D. If I keep it pressed, I'm just gonna keep on reading it. It is pretty stable, even uh, the one that was the, the 
I was the one with a, a little bit of variation and the 8 too, I think. But they are both fine. I keep reading 8, 8, 8, 8, so that's good. And this sketch is just uh, to explain you how this thing works. So uh, you're gonna need to do whatever you want to do with, uh, with the numpad by, by yourself. I put a delay 300, but that's plenty. And that's it. And the most important thing is uh, this chart here, this, define, this bunch of defines here, which allow me to, to compare the voltage I read. And that's actually it. A simple reading from a circuit uh, gives us the information about uh, which button we had pressed. So, uh, with uh, this uh, simple trick, uh, we had freed uh, a lot of digital pins, which are now available for uh, whatever you want. Now it's time you get creative with uh, all these, uh, these pins you have uh, for yourself, and see you next time.